Drivers in New Jersey had it spelled out for them on electronic highway signs announcing all state parks are closed. Garden State lawmakers cannot agree on a spending plan. They missed a Friday midnight deadline, so it's been a Saturday and Sunday full of confusion. Poor little dog. So this pup won't be getting his usual walk in Cheesequake State Park. Mario Perez will have to move his family softball game someplace else. That's no good. With the park closed until further notice, car after car went in and then back out again. Maybe go to the beach. Just make sure it's not a New Jersey state-run beach. Also closed are many state offices, including motor vehicles. Deeply disappointed is Vinny Fierro, who runs a food concession here at Cheesequake. This shutdown is costing him money. It's going to cause financial hardship for myself and all the other concessionaires that in every park in the state of New Jersey. It's the biggest weekend, and we count, we count on a lot. And I think, really, these people should get to the table and end it and let us salvage what we can. The big factor in the budget impasse is a battle between Republican Governor Chris Christie and Democratic Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto over a bill allowing the state to access financial surpluses of Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield New Jersey. Prieto says it would raise rates. He won't post the Horizon bill, but the budget he favors does not have enough votes to pass. Sunday afternoon, Governor Christie vented his frustration. It is the legislature that's choosing not to send me either budget. Governor Christie says the state is funding essential services, among them law enforcement and child abuse hotlines. But for state park goers and others, this ongoing shutdown means sudden shifting to new places for holiday fun. At Cheesequake State Park in Old Bridge, New Jersey, Dave Carlin, TV 1055. The shutdown will not cancel a 4th of July fireworks show and a concert planned for Liberty State Park. The Tuesday evening event has been moved to Exchange Place in downtown Jersey City.